welcome to the review of far from home here on my channel if you are new here do want to be part of the 1000 subscribers and counting and do want to like this video share comment let me know what you make of this review and of the movie so you see when we're talking when we talk about movies and the movie industry industries in certain countries and we take nigeria oh um, on niger you are in my heart big time just look at this movie just look at this far from home movie when you say there's so you're a Ghanaian, so you know so nice about the Ghanaian movie industry but you and i know what's happening with the Ghanaian movie industry yeah, it's okay far from home now ishaya bello is the guy just selfish or he's just too desperate to succeed or too desperate to win too desperate to see his realities or his dreams come true for him to you know do all the things that he did now let's take for instance he taking his sister's examination certificate to apply for school and then to get into the school that is extreme what will be the consequences when the sister also what applies for school and checks are made perhaps she, she also wants to attend the same um, institution what if she applies later on and she finds out that she finds out that her brother whom she loves dearly has used her result to you know apply to the same school just so he could get in and you know get some money or just so he could chase his dreams no one is faulting him for chasing his dreams no one is faulting him for going after what he wants i mean you have to hustle you have to hustle to you know make your dreams come true to make your dreams a reality but how many tools would you step on how many people would you crush how many people would you you know offend break hearts before you get to your dream how many his determination but he is too desperate for me i think he's too desperate to you know go that length to go that extreme when he suggested that oh he's found the answers and so he would he, um the sister could go to the school through the um using the leaked um answers and the sister says no you could still offer that you would buy the forms for her she goes in there uses her own brains to go and write the exams when she's selected then you know what the money that you were chasing after you get the money you could have gone to that agreement with her but no you didn't even tell your sibling that you were going to apply to the school your parents were not aware just so you were so desperate to, you know get in there get the money you know travel to london and get this your as um your dream you know to kickstart your living your dream but it doesn't work that way this is life this is like no matter what you do you can't go far alone you need people so for Isha Bello to just do this to his own sister and even a friend came through for you he's not a thoughtful person like a thoughtful character you know Isha Bello is not a thoughtful person he's just you know focused on what he wants and what he wants to do the friend was there for him but he wasn't even checking on the friend often he wasn't coming through for the friend now you go to steal people come to your family's house you know so much trouble for a one person one person wahala everywhere wherever he goes he brings trouble home wherever he goes he brings trouble home wherever he goes there's trouble and i mean it was too much he played his character very well i mean he nailed it be the troublesome one be the selfish one be the desperate one you know just he delivered on his um, um, um on his role but then i think Isabella is selfish too desperate to succeed you know there is you, you need to succeed there is this enthusiasm that you need to succeed if not you flop but then what what are the consequences of your actions what are the consequences are you just going to you know just focus on what you focus on the goal because you just want to get there and even if you do that a lot of problems are going to come because we saw he had so many issues police here and there getting involved in in um with 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 um drug dealers you know a family being attacked fear gripping them living in fear at a point in time he's even involved in kidnapping and all of that that's what th that's what happens when you are not a thoughtful person when, when you are not calculative of how you want to you know achieve your dreams so me, I, I didn't even blame their, their parents when they you know the mother asked that you know what leave this house don't come back until you come back with your sister because it's too much one human being is too much already you know you you've lost a brother because of this art thing nobody is saying don't do the art but do it with reasoning do it in a way that you will not hurt the next person but that's not what happened and then back to the school 
a scholarship scheme that is really not for the poor. As for the poor, they've suffered power. Everything for the less privileged, everything for the poor. But then how do you apply for a scholarship scheme and you pay that amount of money? The girl was like, is it supposed to be for someone who is poor? And I'm also asking the same question. You pay like a huge fee just to, you know, fill the form, write the exam before the scholarship is given to you. The scholarship is for the poor. If the poor or the less privileged could pay that amount of money, they wouldn't be in your school seeking for, you know, a scholarship. And actually, these scholarships, as we saw in the movie, often reserved for the privileged, just so you know, for some business, for some contracts, for some work to be done, and all that. So, and this really shows like what's going on in certain institutions, certain big, big, huge institutions. There is corruption there, there is rot in there, there's nothing reserved for the poor, there's nothing reserved for the poor, for the um, less privileged. You see, the poor gets, um, keeps getting poorer, and the rich keep getting richer. Look at um, the um, RMD. He said you 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 made it possible for some slum rats to you know get into the school and all these problems are coming. Oh, are, the, are scholarships not for poor people? I benefited from a scholarship for my tertiary education throughout, and so I understand that when someone wants to you know apply to school and then get a scholarship. I, I understand that position that Rahila found herself, but then we saw that, oh, sometimes these scholarships are actually reserved for the rich. How sad, how sad and how, you know, just disappointing, very disappointing. Now we saw um, issues of drug abuse, serious issues in schools. We saw how, you know, these um, students traded these drugs. I mean, Dr. High, he's selling the drugs just to, you know, survive, survive, survive. But then there is this serious issue of drug abuse in there. We saw Ka who had to, you know, be taken to rehab finally at, um, at the end of the day because she was still abusing the drugs. You are in pain, you go to the hospital, you are given drugs. But then there's this urge to, you know, abuse the drug just to control the pain that you are feeling. It's wrong. So if you find yourself in such a situation, seek help rather than abuse the drug on your own okay so seek help and then do that now the music that was in there feeling vibes on vibes when is a love scene they have this love song there and as you know some chilling stuff we have this feeling vibes on vibes hey i'm taking dynamite i mean i really love that they chose nigerian songs forgive that background noise i really love that they chose nigerian songs feeling it here and there even there are some that I, had, I hadn't heard before and i was hearing for the first time but the popular ones you know as you're watching the movie you're like you're nodding your head you're nodding your head you're nodding your head and the guys were playing football they had like a very danceable tune and daji omo naija they are popular songs they are songs that the youth likes and i think they targeted the youth for this movie and so once when i heard the first one i was like mm, i'm going to have fun watching this movie and throughout the songs in the Omonaija to the whole area. Now, finally, someone should tell Ogarambo hmm, that there is so much in Ghana. When the girl said they should, Adufe told him that they should run to Ghana. He was asking what was in Ghana. What do you mean what was in Ghana? There is so much in Ghana. So come here if you are supposed to run and escape from the police and you want to run. Run and come to Ghana. Our police will also arrest you and then send you back to Nigeria. Someone should tell Ogarambo that. How dare you say that was in Ghana? There is so much in Ghana. So, I think the movie overall was a good production. They touched on salient issues in society whilst they give us so much fun. So let me know of what you made of the movie. Leave your comments in the comment section. Um, who was your favorite character? Who was your favorite um, actor? Who nailed it? And oh, Zena, I love her so much. She was in Black Sisters. Her vibe, her energy in the movie, great. Chioma, of course, I wasn't surprised there at all. I wasn't surprised. Oh, Frankie, if I didn't, if I share, if, if I share my, my, my recipe, will I open Frankie's? With a small money, small money I can pay. Small money I can pay, Chioma. You know, I wasn't surprised there. Mama Frankie, I wasn't surprised there at all. I know, uh, Funky um, Akindele, uh, Ishabayo's, um, Ishaya's mom, I wasn't surprised at all. Not at all, not at all. And yeah, so a few others, RMD, a few others. So yeah, let me know what you made of the movie. Leave your comments in the comment section and I'll see you again next time. Do all to like this video, do all to subscribe and be part of the 1,000 and counter subscribers. And guys, Merry Christmas. I'll see you again next time. Bye. Feeling vibes, vibes, hey, 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 hey.